Hello, Nicole Eric here with you. Just going to take you through some of the basics that you should be looking at if somebody has set up a Google AdWords campaign for you. So in Google AdWords, there is campaigns and then ads within those campaigns. Okay, so the first place it takes me to is campaigns. Now this is Google AdWords standard, not Google AdWords Express. There's not enough control over things like your bids and everything. Um, when you're using AdWords Express. So I always say just use the regular Google AdWords. Now the first thing I want to show you is uh, setting up our um, daily budget. This ad um, that I'm showing you is one for a very niche market in women's bamboo underwear. So um, I can have a really um, small daily budget, um, which is fine because there's not a huge amount of competition. Now, the first thing that I want to look at is going into settings and it's important to be able to set an end date so that you're not just continually paying for Google AdWords and don't know how to sort of stop it without having to go and manually and pause the ad. So to do that, we go to settings and we're going to make sure that we have the campaign selected with a tick. We go into edit and then it's hidden all the way down in additional settings campaign end date so in here we click in here and then add an end date so I'm going to choose August 31st and make changes okay so now there's an end date on that so I don't have to worry that you know if I'm running this test um, or I'm running an ad for a certain amount of time it's not going to um, you know I'm not going to forget about it and the ads going to continue running and it's going to continue costing me money so the next thing we want to have a look at is our, I'll just show you my ad here. So you can see here the ad is for the brand name, the main key phrase of the um, niche market, and then we have some other um, keywords in here. Um, so to have a look at the keywords, so this is something that you um, should be keeping an eye on. Um, so over here I've set manual cost per clicks, which is this column here. Um, and if I sort of have a look through this row, you can see down here that it shows me if I have a bid, these are bids, that is below the first page estimate. So I've adjusted these manually to make them, here we go, so if I made this point 50, which is what I sort of set the benchmark at. It tells me that the first page bid estimate is actually 58 cents. So I'm going to bring that up to 65 cents. Click save and then that little thing goes off. Um, so this is great to just go in and check um, every week or every month that your cost per clicks are getting you on that first page. Now it's not guaranteeing where it's going to get you on the first page. It could be the first spot, it could be the second spot, or it could be the last spot, so a side spot. Okay, and also just going and have a look that these are all enabled and that there's not sort of a, a keyword that you need to pay attention to. Now make sure that you're focusing on a niche. If I was to focus this ad campaign on women's underwear instead of women's bamboo underwear, I'd be getting nowhere because it's not a very niche market and there would be, I'd have to spend a lot of money. So if you do have a niche, make sure you really target that if you want to get customers clicking through that are your target market. Now, so if somebody has set up your Google ad for you, there's a few other things that I just want you to go and check at the start. And one of them is audiences. And I want to make sure that we're targeting the right age and gender and location. Okay, so if I am on demographics and I scroll down here and I have a look at gender. So normally under here there would be male, female and unknown. So when I've set up this for the client, I've made sure that I've removed male and unknown so that I'm just targeting females. I can also have a little check here under the age tab 
and you can see here that I have disabled any of the age groups above um, 45 to 54 because I didn't feel they were appropriate for this niche. Um, okay, so that's age and gender. Let's also go and check the, uh, I think it is under settings. We're gonna check the location that we're targeting. So over here is where the location is. And so for this brand being Australian, I'm just targeting Australia. If you want to change that, you just need to make sure your ticks here and go in and change location. And you could add um, places to exclude or you can add existing locations. So if you wanted to target just specific cities, um, if you're offering a local product or service, you can do that in here instead of targeting the whole of Australia. Or if you wanted to target um, all of the world, um, I would sort of add you would just remove the location but I would probably specifically sort of add a few certain countries so that it does know that you don't want to just target the particular country that your website sort of is based in okay you can also target devices as well but I'm just going to make sure that it goes to all of them now the next thing that I want to have a little look at is site links so site links are um, the information that comes up underneath an ad. So, to show you. Um, so these little ones here <coughs> are site links, okay? And then when you, uh, there's not an example of it there, but when it's not an ad and it's an organic um, search result, which are, these are organic search results below all of the ads, um, if you are on different devices, these can actually show up as sort of full page descriptions or like short descriptions. So it actually pushes down all of the rest of the other um, listings and gives you a nice big listing. So it's really important to make sure that um, whoever set up your AdWords campaign has added site links so that they're making the most out of your, um, not only your Google ad, but your Google organic search results. Now by adding these is the only way I've ever found to sort of tell Google, look, can you please list my site links? They don't necessarily do it, but by adding um, these into a Google AdWords campaign, it generally makes Google add these to your organic search results. So you make sure that you're adding them for the ad, but also come down here after you've added all those and add them for the, this is the account site link extensions. So sort of the overall for any of the ads that you create. So that's it, that's all that I wanted to check. Um, so make sure to just go over it again. The one thing I want you to note is the let's go um, the campaign end date, which is really important. You can always check your budget, and then things you want to be checking on a weekly or monthly basis is your keyword bids, and just going in and making sure that you're on the front page for anything that you want to be on the front page for. These ones down here, I don't really care about being on the front page. Um, because they're sort of quite a niche market that I don't think my cl the clients for this particular um, brand are gonna be necessarily looking for. So I've just left those at this bid and the ad will show up somewhere, but maybe on the second page. Okay, I hope that was helpful.